shit, bitch, I just got out. Still rapping, slapping kittens and grabbing my cock. I'm the artist, the golf artist, the hard as a rock. You gon' fuck around and make me not. So, why is it that kids prefer playing on computer games to doing weight training? Well, let's take a look at it. You know, when I was growing up, computer games were around and they were kind of. You know, something fun we did when it was raining and, uh, you know, we couldn't be outside playing. But uh, the kids who were spending all of their time on computer games weren't necessarily the cool ones. But uh, that's kind of changed around in recent years. And let's take a little bit of a look at why that might be and why I think it's a good thing for kids to be weight training. So when we're going to start weight training with kids, there's all these kind of rumors out there and myths about how it's going to stunt their growth. But actually when you look a little bit deeper into that, um, there's really not that much evidence to support that at all. Um, so one of, the, one of the thoughts is that uh, because our epiphyseal uh, growth plates, so the ends of our bones are not fully developed until uh, we're 16, people think that you should start weight training at 16. But actually when you look into it a little bit further, some, um, some of our growth plates, for instance, the um, the bottom of our arm bone, so next to the elbow just there, the bottom of our humerus, the upper arm, uh, actually develops fully by about the age of 10, um, whereas the upper arm doesn't develop fully until about 22. Um, similarly, um, similarly, our collarbone and our scapula or our shoulder blades don't develop until between 22 and 25. So, you know, if we're going to say 16, well, why not say 23 or 24 or 25? And the reality of it is, you know, if if you want to be any good at virtually any sports, if you want to leave weight training until you're 23 and 24, you've missed your opportunity. So here we have Dmitry Klokov competing in the Junior World Championships. And then, as you can see, as an adult, you can see that his growth has just been totally stunted because he's so tiny these days following the early weight training he had. So maybe, you know, if you're a kid and you've been told, right, you know, you shouldn't train until your epiphyseal growth plates are fully developed, well, you know, so we have the uh, one end of the arm bone that's going to be developed age, you know, 15, so we can start training one end of the arm, I don't know, and then, you know, the top end of the arm, we have to wait till we're 23, so you're like, I don't know, Dad, I've been working on the bottom end of my triceps, and now I've got a massive lower tricep that's so big that I can barely pick it up because the upper end of my arm's too small and too weak to be able to pick it up. And how, when can I start training that? Oh, 25, son, you've got to wait until you're 25. So why is it then that um, computer games have become so popular? Well, if you look at the games that have become really popular, and uh, Scott Rigby, who's a beha human behavioral psychologist, pretty much solely studying the um, psychology behind engagement in computer games, and you should definitely check out his website, it's on immersive.com. Uh, and what he does is he gives out a lot of free information of the studies that he's put together about which computer games are the most played, the most engaging, and why. And actually what happens is it's not necessarily the games with the highest amount of budget put towards graphics and things like that um, that equal the best gameplay. But actually there's some, um, there's some comparisons between all of the games um, which, which rings true and, uh, and shows that actually if you put these things towards the games or in our sense from a training perspective towards the training that makes it much more engaging. So starting off, you know, when, uh, when I was a kid I was told that you know, you could only lift the light weights, you know, when my, my parents were really doing their very best to protect me, but, you know, it was just, there wasn't the information out there back then. So we were told, well, you know, you, should, you shouldn't do um, any heavy weight training at all. So I had some very small dumbbells and I'd just kind of work in my, in my bedroom and just start working on things like press-ups and 